position and wait for my go. Hi, welcome students. Okay, uh, for your tutorial week one, I'm just going to introduce you guys to Adrian River CS6 and how to create a simple HTML page. Alright, so uh, open your Adobe Dreamweaver CS6 and then you will see an interface like this. Alright, so uh, to get started, I want you guys to click on File, New. Okay, and then choose uh, HTML5 and then click on Create. Okay, so click on Split. Okay, so all your requirements, the content that you need to create, you will find it over here. And then uh, click on splits, meaning uh, this is a coding site. This is a design site over here. Okay, so all our adjustment and design will be create in the coding site over here. So the content we will create in the body tag. So HTML works using tags. Okay, tags meaning okay. You can see over here that this is tags what you call tags open and close okay imagine tags is a box okay so you have to put your content in the box properly okay so this is the basic html tags html html okay hit hit title title body body so usually html tags come in pairs okay so make sure uh, when you make an adjustment in the future, you does not delete one of the pair unless the HTML itself uh, does not have a pair. So that is very rare. Okay, but yes, we do have HTML without pair. Okay, so to get started, I want you guys to uh, download the images inside your uh, tutorial uh, page. There will be a uh, examples of the HTML page that we're going to create. Okay, all of these are created using a HTML. All right. So this is a basic ingredient for making a simple sponge cake. So we're going to rewrite this using a proper HTML text. Okay. To get you started in the body, so all our content we need to create and put inside the body okay so first of all uh, we need to save our file so to properly save our file click on file save as okay and name uh, i want you guys to create a week one folder onto your desktop okay save inside your folder okay so I want you guys to give this file name called index. Okay. So why we have to name index? Because the home page of every website must be named index. Okay. With only that name, the server can understand this is the home page of your site. Okay. And then click on save. Okay, so if we created index.html file for you. Okay, so we're going to get cracking and start uh, to create our content. Okay, so your content must be inside the body tag. So I'll give a little bit of space around here. So if you look back uh, into your uh, examples, it calls simple sponge kick. Okay, click on 10. So all the content that you wanted to find will be on the right panel underneath insert. So there's a lot of component that you can find it over here. So uh, since we are just going to work with text at this particular time, click on text. Okay. So you can see this is a call a header. Okay. So click on heading one. It will automatically create a uh, heading text for you. Click on simple sponge cake. Alright, so the design area will display what you have created in your coding area. Okay, alright, so move on to next ingredient. Okay, underneath here. <coughs> 
H2 tap over there in three yeah we have S yes we have S ingredients notes on ingredient the next one okay so which is H3 notes on ingredient Okay, so uh, by now you must be aware that uh, H1 created a larger text, H3, H3 created a smaller text. So the higher the number, uh, the smaller the text is. So the H, you can uh, change the number until H7. Okay, so we continue again. Uh, methods back to H2 method and then ingredients H2 ingredients oh sorry okay so, all your titles are done accordingly by using H1 tags. So, if you look into your next, will be uh, the ingredients, which is the 3 eggs, 10 g of caster sugar, uh, 85 g of uh, self-raising flour, and then you will notice there is a dot. Okay, the dot is based on an unordered list. Okay, so where we can get is unordered list. Alright, so unordered list. So first of all, uh, give a little bit of space. Okay, so I'm just going to bring this ingredient down it's because uh, this is a part of the ingredients for making the cake. So you can find your unordered list on the top right call. You will notice over here unordered list. Okay, click unordered list. Okay, and then uh, there is a several other listing inside this unordered list i give it a space okay and then i have to identify uh, what are the list that i'm going to create okay click on list okay three eggs the first one click on list will be three eggs enter what are the list 800 g of caster sugar Is the sugar and then another one uh, 85 G self raising flour click on list 85 G self raising flour alright so you will notice that we have this uh, bullet point bullet point due to to be using unordered list okay so continue next one which is a notes on the ingredient okay since we already have notes on in the uh, on the ingredient that we have created previously so what you can do is that you can copy and paste okay from here copy and paste and then you will have note on ingredient because it's the same thing you can copy and paste in your uh, coding document all right okay so uh caster sugar finally self raising a uh, flower or uh, premier combination okay we're going to create this one okay so this is false under a definition list click on definition list uh, it works just like an ordered list so enter a little bit okay and then uh, click on definition terms for case the sugar okay, cast the sugar and then enter next one will be a finely granulated white sugar under a, a definition description finely granulated white sugar okay 
And then the next one is a self resin flower. Resin flower. And then another one is a premix combination of flower and leavening agent. Okay. A pre mix of flower and self and deepening agent and sorry leavening agent usually salt and baking powder salt and Powder. Okay, All right. So we uh, miss the. All right. So. All right. So uh, I accidentally create a, a hit enter over here. So it create a number breaking spaces text for me, which is I don't want. Okay. So you must always uh, make your adjustment in the coding panel. Okay. So for uh, methods. Uh, again, we already created methods over there. So have you noticed previously that we can copy and paste uh, from what we have done if it's the same thing. Okay, methods. Okay, is that? Okay, so uh, next one, if you see a numbering like this or you want to create a numbering, this is called an ordered list. Okay, so ordered list, uh, just like we created previously the unordered list, it will be, you can find it ordered list over here. Click ordered list. I give it a bit of structure. I bring it down so I can easily see what am I going to input inside the ordered list. Create, uh, click on the list items and then I can input my, uh, my content. So preheat the oven 290 Celsius. Pre... Heat the oven 290 Celsius and then this next one is a grease a 20 cm round kick pan grease 20 cm round kick pan all right so see uh, the number two uh, have been generated okay so i want you guys to continue uh, until you have a complete uh, seven steps inside your method so basically you just repeated the same uh, process over here okay so now you already have all the seven uh, steps of for uh, uh, cooking the uh, simple sponge cake so now we're just going to uh, complete uh, your page by first of all i want you to write your name and id using unordered list okay so click over here unordered list okay you can type over there okay inside the list will be this is your name and then another one shall be your id okay so i want to all of you to write your name and your id okay save the file okay so if you open the file onto in your desktop you will see you have index over here okay so to preview your file Okay, either you can double click this or you can open with Google Chrome. Okay, so this is uh, the first page that you have created using a HTML and by understanding uh, Adobe Dreamweaver. Okay, so once you already complete the exercise, I want you guys to zip your file. Okay, so this is your zip file and submit this file to your open learning 
for your attendance. Okay, I'll see you guys next week.